No one has ever done air quality measurement mapping at this scale. Air pollution is very local. It changes block by block, city by city, neighborhood by neighborhood. And so by providing this hyperlocal air quality information, it's going to be transformative in how we understand how pollutants change and modify through emissions and other factors. The mobile platform is a, a laboratory in miniature. Uh, what we've been doing is operationally driving every day for over a year. Through our driving with our partners EDF and Google, We've driven over 40,000 miles in Oakland. Uh, we're measuring the pollutants that are important for human health and climate. We are really able to advance the science of understanding air pollution and how it impacts communities at a level that has never been done before. One of the most important ways that climate change affects people is through human health. To have a better sense of exactly what changes are happening not only way up in the atmosphere, but down where people are and in the air that we're breathing is really important information. Having environmental intelligence, having environmental data, especially if we can visualize that, helps us see what is happening that is a consequence of our actions, but that also directly affects us. But to have the integrated sensor network, machine learning, and big data all integrated into a platform that enables people to measure and see what's happening in the air around them is very, very powerful. I think without a doubt, ACLIMA's platform will accelerate science. In making the invisible visible, in being able to map our cities and our communities at this level of resolution, there's a whole new body of knowledge that becomes available to policymakers, to scientists, to everyday people. And that's what's so exciting about this effort. We'll be painting a picture of how our cities live and breathe. And that has incredible potential to drive all sorts of new decisions. Together, we're able to do something that neither of us could do alone.